Halloween is the greatest holiday for bitch ass niggas, man. Damn. Yeah, they, right. talk about it. It's, talk a, it's ahead, a whole bro. day where they don't have to be themselves. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> it could be. Hey, niggas hey, love it. I can't wait to the 31st. Hey, I can't hey, wait. Hey, I'm going to be a real nigga for one day. <laughs> I could be somebody else and get rewarded for it. Yeah. Candy Why are they comedy. rewarding you for being somebody you're not? What is it? Is there some deeper subconscious reason for giving you a treat for dressing up as somebody that's not you? Go on there. Okay, are go they trying to there. tell you that because you, you don't get a treat for being yourself? No. Are okay. they trying to tell you that you're not good enough? What is Halloween? What is Halloween really saying to people? I think it gives Brandon the chance to wear the wig he want to wear the other 364 days a year. That's what Halloween is saying. That's funny. Yeah. That's, yeah. funny. That's, that's, that's funny. That's oh. fucked up, man. I don't know. It's it's weird, though. I just think... I mean, Chuck, you got kids, man, so it's like... I'm, I'm assuming they enjoy this no, holiday. I don't celebrate this. Oh, you don't celebrate it? No, it's weird. It's weird, bro. It's weird. It's real. I'm real with my kids. Wait, I'm so you can fucking dress up here, but they can't do it. I'm not about what? to dress up and go out door to door and knock and get candy. That's what? dumb shit. Well, I'm let not the kids. Well, let the kids dress no, up. I'm real with my kids. Go I told them flat out, it ain't no fucking Santa Claus. All right, it, it ain't, ain't no, nigga. It's not a fat cracker rolling down our yeah. chimney giving us gifts. No, it's right. not. It ain't no Easter Bunny. It ain't no Easter Bunny Preach. coming in here. And, and the whole Halloween shit, we not doing what the whole world is doing. We not dressing up and knocking door to door to get candy. That's dumb shit. Now, if we go to a party or something, like what we doing on a dress up tip, cool. That's different. Bro. That's different. That's why I got to go door to door and somebody, why would I teach that to my kids? Go door to door and That's knock fair. and get candy and let's just participate. Now, let me go through your candy and see if it's some bullshit in there or not. I just, I don't. A lot know. of shit. That's, no, that's do. fair. Yeah, I don't really participate in that. A lot shit. of shit weird. we do is bullshit. I didn't really participate as a kid because, like, I was the youngest. I saw my older brother and sister go trick or treating. But when I got the age, my mom got in the church real heavy and was like, we ain't doing that shit. So I, I spent my childhood at Hallelujah Night. That's where we were. I, I mean, this is what pissed me off about. This is why I hate it. Hallelujah Night is a Christian version of Halloween. Dumb as fuck. What is Dumb that? Was fuck. Bro, that sound corny, bro. bro. How you gonna say yeah. it's the devil's holiday, but then do it in the church? <laughs> That's <laughs> the part that bothered me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That sound what corny, What we gonna have bro. is a Jesus party on October 31st, where you come in and you dress up. It's the same. We celebrate you Halloween. You know what pissed me off about, my, about our, about our uh, Hallelujah Night? They told us to come dress as a Bible figure, right? Right. So I came dressed as Moses. Moses. <laughs> Moses. You okay? Not, not, Moses. My, my shit wasn't that clean. I had the sheets. Well, this you is know, dirty, bro. You, don't, me. you had a blanket on. That's a blanket on. <laughs> <laughs> and I remembered a little bullshit-ass scripture. And, nigga, I lost the, the Hallelujah Night costume contest to a nigga in a Spider-Man outfit. I'm like, we in church. Y'all trying to dress as a church, as people in church. And I'm also the nigga that came dressed as a Marvel comic. Well, what'd you dress up as? Moses, like you. Oh, I'm sorry, so sorry. Why yeah. they have a wig? You know what's crazy? You piss me off. Man, that shit, won't be the that shit pissed me off. I'm in church and the, the Spider-Man winning Hallelujah Night over Moses. And, and how did they say, how did they justify it? You lost because you was fat, nigga. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> did they say Spider-Man was in the Bible somehow? Uh -huh. How would they go dress up as Buddha at a Christian uh, party? Uh, 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 uh. I mean, all the guys know each other. They ain't ever together. <laughs> Why, you you got to stop eating all the crackers and drinking all the wine. You can't. <laughs> it's crazy how we how how much we celebrate death and we don't even know it because they hide the celebration of death into rituals. Yeah. Damn, that's one thousand. That's deep. Yeah. Look, we yeah. pray, we we say we, a lot of people say they uh, what is that called for you eat dinner? Grace. Grace. Say grace, right? Grace sounds good and all that shit, right? Right. But why are you why are you saying grace before dinner? Technically, dinner. Is an animal funeral. <laughs> it's dead animals on the table. Way to ruin dinner, Craig. Come on. Go You're ahead. thankful to be eating dead animals. Facts. Dead plants, too. That's facts. Dead plants. We are killing things dead plants. and surrounding it with rituals. <laughs> and now it don't feel like it's a death celebration, but it is. <laughs> Thanksgiving is a funeral for a turkey. <laughs> And for Indians, too. That's what you know what I'm saying? It's a funeral for a ham. And squash, nigga. That squash is growing and growing and growing. A plant is a life. You eat greens. That's a funeral for greens. No, no. The only thing I say, I say grace. I say grace because I'm asking God to bless my food. You ain't going to sit here and tell me that, 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 a, that a dinner is not an animal funeral. You ain't burying it. You're eating it. 
Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even dead, though. I'm just saying, though, it's a death on the table. And it's cut up and packaged, nigga. That, that's a problem. It's cooked. <laughs> man, you right. separated that spinach from his roots, nigga. That shit's dead, motherfucker. Nah, yeah. man, hell, nah. hell nah. I see where you're going on the ritual tip. You, it's you, ritual but the you might be like, you I'm reaching a little bit on the grace, but, but, me, but with the meat thing and the killing of the animal, that really goes back. You know what I'm saying to voodoo, because that's what they did. They like when cutting any any killing of any animals. They blessed the animal. They made sure them. So they gave thanks to the animal for giving his life. They they made sure they used the whole. Uh, animal and everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything that they didn't just leave shit and just be slaughtering shit and just have it on the side of the day. So it was a sign of respect for the animal. White people came, they don't give a damn about none of that. Nigga. We said, you know, line them up. Line them up, nigga, for the sliced throats, nigga, with one sword. I'm finna just run. Right. <laughs> right. That's what they did. So that's why I feel you. But like when we did it as, as black people, we. Really, I mean, to this day, I think that's what I think we have that in us to say yeah. grace about the food. Yeah. Dinner is the conclusion to a sacrificial ritual. It's a sacrifice, I, 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 I in which that. the conclusion is the consumption of whatever's been sacrificed. Yeah, for, for, for it, you know what I'm saying? Though. For nourishment. Yeah. For nor- I have a question, man. Like, is it a ritualistic prayer for taking the shit? That's, the final, that's honestly the final resting place for. That's the final resting place for the food. Final resting place. That nigga go in there and do damage. That nigga go in there and do some motherfucking damage. I pray for I went in there if I was you too, nigga. Nigga been there hollering like a motherfucker. Pray for the toilet, nigga. That's who you pray for. Pray for the toilet. This nigga Charlie shit red law. Oh, I got light skin shit. Oh shit. They hide shit in rituals, man, and it becomes okay. Because mm. we like we like to dress up savageness as like like as some pretty thing. Facts though. You, you know what I'm saying? You know what what think about a, what's another ritual that we practice if you really break it down it's like this is really some weird ass shit. Shit, eating the, the cracker and the juice shit. They do a church. Communion. That's, That's oh, cannibalism. Man. Yeah, the blood. Oh, they say take this blood, blood, which is sacrifice. Cannibalism. For you, and this is the flesh of the spirit, Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. think about that shit. This wine represents. Look, symbolic, dog. Look, look, look. Hey, hey, y'all can look this song up. The song that we sing in my church was a song by Andre Crouch called "Sweet Communion." Andre and when Crouch? a nigga singing, it says, this wine represents my blood, which was drawn for you. So the nigga saying you drinking, the, you symbolically drinking the motherfucker's Wait, blood. Well, what's the difference between something that's symbolic and a ritual? Is there a difference? Well, well same when, thing. I'm asking because I don't know. Well, etymology is very important. So when you talk about symbolism, you can't just separate the etymology of a word from what you think the ritual is. If, you're, if something is being done in error... And nobody's correcting it because, you know, we, we made up our own definition of what this shit really means. I don't mean that it's right. I don't think that it's ever right to 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 eat something eat flesh. What, in the mind yeah. when in your mind you're thinking it's another you know what I mean, like another person or you eat like you take yeah, partaking yeah. of another motherfucker's flesh. That's like I, I that's, don't understand the symbolism of it. I, that's what I don't get. I don't I, understand I, why I get it, but eating of the flesh and drinking of the blood of Christ. That doesn't make any sense. Especially having red juice and white crackers, is that just... Is just <laughs> the white crack. Why ain't we eating brown white crackers? crackers. Exactly. You're right. <laughs> you're right, my red juice, red yeah. wine, and... Come on, bro. There's too much symbolism right there. What I'm saying is that... This ain't even on no church thing, but I we can't call an error error. Like, that's not... Yeah. What if you walked in the room and your daughter was eating uh, a, 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 a hot link of, like, man, this is a symbol of the dicks in the future. <laughs> I'm eating this. I'm eating future dicks. To, this is, Cause this is what I'm be doing when I'm an adult. I'm gonna have dicks in my mouth. So give me the. <laughs> oh, but is, shit. What I'm saying is like I don't know if what I don't. If, questioning some. <laughs> que, no, I get what you're saying. It, questioning some of the practices. Why can't we? Yeah. Is that kind of where you? I think we've to? evolved because we don't dress like they dress in the Old Testament no more yeah. or the New Testament. Mm. We don't speak the same language that they spoke. We don't participate in a lot of the everyday activities. Why are things only evolving at the pace of the pastor's interpretation or what the church thinks okay? How come the church is not attacking? I'm not talking about just the Christian church. I'm talking about all the churches. How come the masses aren't really dissecting 
and and unpacking a lot of the r ritualistic shit that we do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's because of that fear, man. The church be like, look, man, only read my Bible, motherfucker. And if you read something else, God gonna kick your motherfucking ass. That's basically what the church says in a nutshell. So they're pimping the Bible. They basically pimping the Bible because, yeah. look, all this uh, ceremony that's around, there is true power in it. You know what I mean? There's the reason why these, these, the reason say. why these rituals that existed. First of all, thumbs up and like the video. Like the video and thumbs it up. Share the video and share it to your mama. You know what she I mean? She'll like it too. She you love us. Motherfucker said, "Don't question." That's not questioning. Yeah, look, look, look. look, look, look. Wait, it's just God understanding the symbolism. Who asked that? Who asked that? Who asked that? Who asked that? I'm going to question. Uh, that. How you gonna get an answer if you don't question something? Night. <laughs> <laughs> don't question God. But you got to ask the nigga. You just uh, can't question him. Yeah. Ask that. Ah! Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Say it again, Duncan. You can ask him. But he can't question. Yeah, <laughs> well, man, stupid motherfucker. Get your dumb ass out of here, nigga. I well, think man. honestly, hey, man, I, at the end of the day, you have to read for yourself whatever religion you partake in. You need to read and interpret for yourself instead of listening to what everybody else is saying and doing what everybody else is doing. Mm. Because we as people, if we sitting in a congregation and we sit next to somebody and it's like they're doing this one thing, you know, every Tuesday at three, we grab a red cup and drink it. Why? Why do we? 